guys loving the jack off jokes? <laughs> I am in luck. <laughs> she, no, not a proof. <laughs> okay, thank God. Oh man, is this the, the man who got up and left? I'm, I'm sad. He is such a happy man with a little Debbie on his shirt. <laughs> It was beautiful. No, I love coming to Covina. I'm from Fresno, California. Yeah, hell yeah. It's nice to get a little shout out. It feels good. I say Fresno. Covina has it. Hispanics. I worked in fucking T-Mobile for 11 years in Fresno, California. If you don't think I've been around Hispanics, you fucking wrong. I remember I worked with this one guy who moved from the Midwest who's working with me. We have Mexicans coming in all day. All day. After about three weeks, he turns to me and goes, how come all these Mexican kids are all named the same? I go, what do you, what do you mean? He goes, every, every kid comes in here, there's me ho this, me ho that. I go, buddy, you know, that's not, that's like, it's a language. They're talking this is my kid, you know, my little kid or whatever. He goes, yeah, I should have known that. It's kind of an Asian name anyway, right? <laughs> Miho. Uh, sir, you got some beautiful long hair. I love it, dude. How long have you been growing it out? Since 2019? Give it up for the hair, folks. Yeah. Give it up for the hair. Beautiful. I started growing my hair out because I want to get better at flirting. Yeah. <laughs> Tell me if this does anything, but... Mm. <laughs> so, <laughs> so, when, those girls, when the girls flirt, they do that. They turn. Don't. <laughs> Higher pitch, more of a turn. Stop. <laughs> oh. And then if they're Mexican, they go, you're stupid. <laughs> I'm gonna fuck tonight. Call me stupid. Feels good. Oh my God. I'm a married man. I got two kids. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Great times. Great times. Any 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 parents in here? I know there is. You gotta give it up. Give it up for the fucking parents in the room. Fucking and sucking. Bring life into the world. I love it. My kids are teenagers right now. I got. 13-year-old and a 15-year-old. <laughs> Just ruining bed sheets. <laughs> the secret jerk sessions that are going on in my house right now. I mean, these are CIA-level covertness <laughs> of jacking off, you know. And my son, like, I see little bits of sexuality pop up, you know, with my kids. I see, oh, is the light turning on? Are they noticing stuff? My son started playing Fortnite. Who, who knows what Fortnite is in here? <laughs> third person shooter, you know, and he's playing this thing, and this boy, he hits puberty, he starts picking some juicy avatars. I'm talking thick, rich, and the, and the, the, the technology for the jiggle. I mean, can we talk, can we talk, I mean, hey man, the jiggle, they have it figured out. So well. And so I tell my son, I'm like, ooh, I like this. <laughs> That's good. He immediately like turns into Napoleon Dynamite. I'm like, Dad, don't uh don't get off. I'm like, what? I know you you see it. I see you see what I'm saying. What are you talking about? Like, don't, Dad, uh. Like, you picked it for a reason. You're behind the character the whole time. You know I did it, Dad. I'm like, buddy, I've seen that character selection screen. You could have been the banana. Like, real easy. They had various versions of banana. No, you picked the juicy ass Latina to sit behind all fucking night. My wife's hilarious. She goes, Oh, I noticed you've been uh, spending a little time with the boy when he plays video games. What do you think? What's that all about? Oh, just being a good dad. Oh, just being a great dad. My son's funny. He's gone to bed at 10 o'clock ever since he's probably like five, six years old. His bedtime's 10 o'clock. Once he hit puberty, he wants to get some extra alone time. Starts going to bed earlier and earlier. It's now to a point where it'll be like 8.15. He'll start pretending he's tired. I don't know if you've ever seen a kid. Hey! Oh, 
Man, I'm gonna turn in early tonight, Dad. Oh, no shit, really? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Go back there. Uh, you know, my allergies have been acting up a little bit. I'm gonna take these Kleenex with me. I don't want to get a stuffy nose and have to run back out and get the Kleenex. And, you know, come to think of it, my skin is so dry. I'm gonna take this bottle of lotion. For my skin, I get a little ashy. Oh, good job, son. Uh, when I was his age, I was I was ruining linens all over the, the house, and I didn't have open parents. My parents were very Christian. We were praising the Lord real hard, you know. You touch your ding dong, Jesus is pissed. <laughs> That was the first thing I learned in church. Don't touch your dick. Jesus hates it. You know, I go to the urinal with like a pair of tongs, like because I don't want to. I don't want to anger the Lord. Yes, for practical purposes, Lord. No, but I was messing. I was doing it in secret. You know, I had a navy blue bed skirt because I had a trundle bed. Try not to brag. I don't know if you guys had friends over when you were growing up. But I had a trundle bed, it's under the bed, and then there's a navy blue bed skirt. And by the time I was done with that thing, that thing looked like army snow camo. It was bad. And I thought I was so slick. Like, oh, I, know I remember walking in one day like, Jesus, you better take it easy. My mom never said anything. My parents never said a word. And I know my, my mom's doing laundry. She sees that thing, you know, and she's just cracking that thing. Cracking it up to get it into the washing machine. Like, oh, my baby boy, I sure do love it. It's going up fast, it really is. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I love it. I love it. I try to raise my daughter to be like kind of like a feminist a little bit, you know. I wanted her to feel empowered and whatnot. And when she was growing up, I was reading online how to do that. And I go to Facebook, trying to learn how to act, how to think. Very... <laughs> That's how you're supposed to do it. Right? I'm a good person. And uh, I remember one day she came home. She's probably about nine years old, and she goes, the, the boys wouldn't let me play Foursquare at school, Dad, because they said it was a boys-only game. And Foursquare is my favorite game. And I was pissed. I was like, don't you ever let somebody, I was like screaming, and I'm like, don't you ever let somebody tell you you can't do something because you're a woman, ever. And she's like, okay, Dad, like chill out or whatever. And my son, who's a few years older, he heard what I said to my daughter. And he comes sauntering into the room like he owns the apartment complex. <laughs> Remember, he heard, he heard it, he goes, he goes, yeah, Dad, I heard that, what you said to Annie, well, but what about me? And I remember from all my time online, I looked down at him, I knew exactly what to say, go, you straight, white, cisgender piece of shit. <laughs> well, how dare you come in here when I'm trying to encourage a woman? <laughs> Get your white ass out of here. Fuck out of here. Take that bitch out of the house. I said, fuck you. That's how we gotta do it, right? I hold accountable based on skin tone from the moment they're born. That's the way I've learned online, it feels right. It feels so good. It's the, my son has been, is the most confident person I've ever met in my life. And I'll tell you a story. I took him to the Regal Cinema when he was about 10 years old because I'm balling out of control. And, uh, I don't know if you guys can afford the Regal out here, but pretty nice spot. And I remember uh, we, we go to the restroom before the movie starts. And it's a kid's movie, so uh, when we go in the restroom, it's a boy's room, so all the dads are lined up against the wall, and the, the kids walk up. Now, my son's 10 years old. He's not a little kid. He's 10, right? He walks up to the urinal, he pulls his pants all the way down to the ground. Right? I remember thinking, this is a bad look. Like, this ain't a good look. And the other dads see me like, Jesus Christ, what are you teaching this kid? And I walk up to my son and thinking like, oh, this will be a moment where I can share some of my life experience with my son. And I go, hey, buddy, let's, let's pull the pants up. Let's go. We're going to hide the ass cheeks. Like, I got it. I got it. Let's pull them up. My son, without missing a beat, he screams at me at the regal. 
and go, Dad, this is how I do it, okay? <laughs> and then he did something that truly blew my mind. I just backed off. I was like, all right, buddy, fine. Hey, fucking live your life, you know. Enjoy it. And then my son, he's fishing in his back pocket, and he pulls out a single square of toilet paper. Oh. And he started delicately dabbing the tip of his penis. In fucking public. <laughs> And he's, he's dabbing it hard, like his penis just finished a big meal or something. Like that. Just, just dabbing it up. God bless that kid. You guys want to hear one stupid, silly joke before I go? All right, folks, hey, comedy time. Hey, okay, good stuff. Uh, they're remaking a lot of movies. You guys see this? Remaking them. You guys like it? No. Nah, most people don't like it. They're remaking He Man. See that? No. Yeah, remaking yeah. He-Man. They gotta change the name though. The name is all fucked up. They gotta update it for a modern audience. So they're changing the name from He-Man to They Them They Them. <laughs> <laughs> and I think it's about time. I think it really is so much. Uh, thank you so much. I'm Kevin Tinkin. Enjoy the rest of the show.